Test number six, wood cavities with low density foam insulation. The test construction consisted of two by four studs, 16 inches on center on plywood backing. Generic nominal 0.5 pounds per cubic foot foam was installed in the wall and ceiling cavities. The foam was trimmed with saws so that it was flush with the studs. One room corner was constructed so that only one stud edge was exposed to the ignition source. The edge of the stud was covered with a nominal 1.5 inch strip of kale wool, ceramic fiber. The specimen ignited at 9 seconds and flames reached the ceiling at 20 seconds. Heavy black smoke appeared and flashover occurred at 44 seconds. The test was terminated. NFPA 286 does not publish pass-fail criteria, but the test reached flashover conditions. 1. The average ceiling temperature approached 1900 degrees Fahrenheit. 2. Flames spread to the extremities of both walls during the test. 3. Flames exited the doorway. 4. Both paper targets were ignited. 5. Heat flux reached 85 kilowatts per meter squared. 6. Flames reached the ceiling during the first five minutes. The studs, headers, and joists were charred, and the insulation was essentially burned throughout the entire room. The smoke was very heavy and black. The fire was difficult to extinguish. The Summary Spray Cellulose Spray fiberglass and mineral wool bats did not reach flashover conditions. Wood only. Fiberglass bats and low density foam all reached flashover conditions. The low density foam flames exited the room in 44 seconds and the smoke was very heavy and very black.